It's 12 o'clock, and you're watching KCCI Channel 8 Des Moines, Iowa's news leader, with Molly Cooney, Jason Hoffman, and meteorologist Mike Lozano. This is News Channel 8. Iowa State students upset over a dry Visha celebration take to the streets overnight in Ames. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ann State. Jason and Molly have the afternoon off. Well, was it a Visha protest or just plain old spring fever? Opinion is mixed over what incited more than 300 students to chant and roam the streets of Iowa State University overnight. It started at the Towers Residence Halls, located just south of the Iowa State campus. It's on Welch Avenue. News Channel 8 Live Link reporter Roshini Rajkumar is there right now trying to piece together the details. And Roshini, what are people saying about what happened? Well, and one administrator says it's just students getting out after being cooped up all winter. But many students say this was definitely a protest related to Visha. About 10.30 last night, students started gathering at the Towers dorm. Some say they were just hanging out, having fun, until campus police showed up. Some students say campus officers told them if they didn't go inside, they'd jeopardize Visha. And that's when students started chanting obscenities. Eventually, students moved to the Knoll, then through the Greek system. And later, they went over to the Campan Campanile. One student got some home video of what he saw from his window in Friley Hall. He and his roommate say everything started as a protest against an alcohol-free Visha. In my view, they weren't trying to do anything um, um, destructive, as I saw. Um, I think the first, real first taste of spring, uh, opportunity to get outside. What I saw, what it was, it, it did look like uh, a very unorganized protest against the dry Visha. Ames police made no arrests, and campus police just made one intoxication arrest. No one was hurt, and they aren't expecting any disciplinary action either, Anne. We heard that they knocked down some signs. Have the police received or released any uh, damage estimates as far as money goes? They have not done that. There are some signs all over campus that were taken down, but mostly this was just sort of kind of walking around campus, screaming different things. There was a report that they were screaming obscenities outside President Jiski's home, and that has been uh, verified. But basically, campus administrators are saying this was just...